Hi everyone. This is a continuation of my UEMAX playthrough of Pagodia. Today's entry is map 2, Tozan, which was made by T. Will. So, as far as I googled, Tozan means a pilgrimage to a certain temple in Japan and translates as climbing a mountain. So, I guess that's where the name of the map comes from, but uh, don't quote me that, I, I may be wrong. Anyway, the start is pretty slow, some lower tier enemies, but it's going to become more intense as the map progresses. Our first goal is that building to the right. And the barrels inside are conveniently placed so you can blow everyone up. I'm looking back here because of a chain gunner sandwich that's going to happen. Pretty evil for the blind runners, but uh, it's not so bad when you know about it. Now it's time for better weapons. We are getting both Super Shotgun and a Rocket Launcher now. So pressing the switch reveals the green cyber and for Revenants. And I prefer to go outside, so then fight a bit and then I finish off the survivors. And after that the green cyber can be easily killed with the Super Shotgun. Now, when you lower this lift that we used earlier, another platform also lowers, uh, and it contains a secret berserk. I grabbed it, but I didn't take a secret, so I had to do it again. And now we can proceed to the next area. So these two green cybers are basically turrets, so I ignore them for now and head for the next building that we need to explore. Its entry is guarded by some heat scanners, uh, no big deal. And nothing much going on inside as well, just some um, hitscanners again, imps and revenants, shouldn't be a problem. A little ambush here, so I prepare a rock launcher in advance.
Now, I ran into this Revenant missile and this one uh, for no good reason, and that's only the beginning. I am going to eat a disturbing amount of missiles in this playthrough, so yeah, expect this. This panel across the bridge actually contains a secret switch on the back. Uh, it opens a small outdoors area where you get early plasma. Uh, for it you have to fight a green cyber in this uh, relatively narrow corridor, but uh, it's not that bad. Now, pressing the actual switch allows you to progress and you will come back to the start of this second area with the green cyber turrets, uh, but from behind. You can see those cyber cages from here. So a pretty nasty ambush happens here again, as both exits from the structure are blocked by Mercubi, but you can just run past them, so it's no big deal. And yeah, got stuck in geometry and ate yet another Revenant missile. Now I just uh, go out and finish off the remaining enemies. I also killed the Cybers myself right now, uh, because I'm not going to return here. And also I think killing all of the Cybers opens a final secret. But we'll get there. I just use rockets as there are plenty, and then some plasma. And now you can get the red key. Now, before we go on, I need to get another secret. Down here in the water there is a hidden cave behind the waterfall that gives you a supercharge. So, a classic waterfall secret. Okay, uh, now it's time to proceed. When you drop down here, you're going to get ambushed by quite a few enemies, so be ready. I try to kill chain gunners first and then focus on the revenants. And by the way, those turbo cacos, they really spice the fight up. Uh, I think uh, it would be much more boring with regular cacos, so that's cool. Pressing the switch reveals Mancubi and an Arachnotron behind you. Uh, I just rocket them all down. Now, when you cross a certain line here, enemies spawn in, including an archvile way in the back. So, deal with him first, and the rest should not be a problem. So, most of the enemies are going to fight anyway. Okay, now when I finish wandering around aimlessly, it's time for a final fight that is a secret fight. 
a wall here where the candle is can be lowered to reveal a switch and then you need to shoot another switch to get through. This secret fight has a green cyber and two arch vials in a balcony with no cover and it's pretty tricky. You need the cyber to hit the arch vials so they start targeting him instead of you. But this time everything went wrong so cyber started shooting very late so I got that. And then the second arch vial was extremely late to teleport in and wasn't even hit by splash damage so he started targeting me instead. I survived somehow but that was nasty. And since all cybers are dead, the final secret is revealed here. And there is one more secret room, as indicated by this candle. And who do you think we find in the dark room? Why well, yes, that's a Sailor Mars, of course. And this Sailor Mars room is not marked as a secret, by the way. Okay, now let's grab the yellow key on this balcony and go for exit. And by the way, here you can see the starting area. According to Pagodia TXT, this final area was meant to be a homage for Fushimi Naritaisha Shrine, but the amount of Tori Gates was reduced because of Vanilla Doom restrictions, but still it's very cool. So, great map. One of my favorite maps in this world, uh, visually, and I especially like how you get a view on uh, areas that you have already visited, but now you see them from different angles, that's really cool. And the MIDI is really setting the mood, uh, so once again, great selection. Regarding the gameplay, nothing really difficult except for the final secret fight, but still very enjoyable and the pacing of the map is just right, so really liked it. Okay, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in map 3.